It's already been nearly three years since the death of Fast and Furious star Paul Walker, and he would have turned 43 this week. So young, so talented, and what an incredible guy. Paul was really the heart of the whole Fast and Furious movie franchise, and he left behind two brothers who could barely hold back the tears remembering him. Do you ever feel his presence now? Do you ever feel like he's, he's around watching over you? Absolutely. You do? Absolutely. Whenever I go surfing, whenever I go fishing, whenever I go spear fishing, I think of him. 100%. You Paul know? is synonymous with the ocean. Yeah, that was a big really. part of his life. And that was, he's known for the car thing from Furious 7, and he loved cars, but the ocean is where he was at. Well, like any mo minute he, you know, any yeah. spare moment he had. He always wanted to be a marine biologist. Like that was like his dream, you know? Yeah. And the acting thing got in the way. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. After their brother Paul died in a car crash in 2013, Cody and Caleb Walker paid him a special kind of tribute, filling in for critical scenes in Furious 7. Let's talk about the process. You say you guys worked on the film for three months. Um, how did that work? A lot of it was the angles. It really was. A lot That's of it was what the it angles. Down to. Uh, first off, we had about six weeks to put weight on because when Paul, right before Paul passed away and when he was filming that movie, he, he got real big. We both put on about 12 pounds, first off, yeah. so we had to do that. We yeah. each have like a little bit of each other. Like, I have really nice ears and his ears Ooh, stick out from the I side knew. of his head. <laughs> so when they, I knew he was gonna bring that when up. they get, they, when they do straight on, Caleb, you know, they had to tape his ears back. Producers used 3D imaging and even recreated Paul's tattoo with the name of his daughter on their forearm. In that first day, they're like, okay, now we gotta put the tattoo on. And we're sitting there looking at each other, we're like, you've got, oh man, like, this is, I'm getting emotional thinking about it, yeah. but he loved that tattoo. It was really, really cool uh, with Meadow's name on it and it had a hibiscus flowers and whatnot. And it was really weird having to rock that thing for, the first, the first, first while was really weird, um, and then I mean we both had it uh, for for the three months, and then by the end of the three months, I was like, I think I'd really like to get a tattoo there. Nearly three years after his death, Cody and Caleb told me they're still overwhelmed by the impact of their work in Paul's final scene. Yeah, we didn't know the magnitude of like how powerful it would be until we saw it at the premiere, yeah. and. Uh, we both sat there and we cried for about five minutes before we got got up out of our seat. <laughs> they did it that well. When I, see you again. I can't even imagine. I can't, that's gotta be so tough. And Cody and Caleb are, are so committed to carrying on Paul's legacy. They're holding a fundraiser for his charity, which is Reach Out Worldwide. The event's called Game for Paul. We're gonna have giveaways. Like we've got like Xbox One, you know, the new Sweet. Slim systems. Such a great event for a great cause. And make sure you check it out tomorrow. It is streaming live.